Hi guys, welcome to the Board of Studies MCQs for SAPM. Our aim is to be covering every possible question. The first step in that was we cover every possible question of the module. Now that is one thing that we all have done. Now after that, of course, our next aim over here is that we should be covering everything from the Board of Studies portal. ICAI had introduced that for the benefit of the students. We stole the questions from there. And hence, we are bringing you these questions over here. Two things before I'll be starting our complete course is there for you all to be enrolling, which has everything that you all can want. That is, it has uh, all the concepts, all the practical questions, all the theory questions, all the MCQs, all the case study based questions, everything that you can be asking. And of course, without me uh, mentioning also again, that is unlimited views. The link is there in the description. The moment you enroll, lectures will automatically start. That is one thing. Second is that in case you will still require some clarification on something in SCPM, write to us on our telegram ID at the rate agent next and we shall be happy to re respond to you. Now we are on to chapter number four. Chapter number four has various concepts like target costing, uh, life cycle costing, etc. This question that we are seeing is on target costing. Let's see this question. The selling price of product X is set at 275 for each unit. Okay. And sales for the coming year are expected to be 400 units. A return of 30% on investment of 1,25,000 in product X will be required in the coming year. What is the target cost for each unit of product X? So therefore you want target cost. Okay. Now target cost will be expected price or the price that you want from the market less the targeted profit. So target selling price minus target profit gives you target cost. Give me the four options, please. Four options. 181.25 dollars, 165 dollars, third one 187.5 dollars, lastly 362.5 dollars. Okay, so let's start to be looking at the calculation. I'll go in two steps. First, I'll try to be finding out target profit and then I'll take the target selling price, subtract target profit. I should be arriving at target cost. Okay, so let's see the calculation over here. So first thing is investment that we all require is $125,000. Everything is in dollars uh, into the return required. That was 30%. So therefore total profit that we all want. Return means profit. That is 37,500. Let's divide that by number of units. That is 400. So on every unit, we want a profit of 93.75. Now we want to sell the product at what price beta? 275. So target selling price is 275. Let's subtract 93.75 from there. That shall fetch you target cost. Target cost will be 275 minus 93.75. That should be 181.25. So I guess 181.25 should be the correct answer. So out of the four answers, first one is supposed to be correct. That's it. That's the correct one. My job is done for today. I'll see you all in the next lecture just before I sign off. This is a QR code for the playlist which has all the questions from SCPM modules. Everything is explained concept wise. We have tried to explain the background of that question. We have tried to explain why this is the answer, why these are not the answers and so on. I'll see you all in the next lecture with some other MCQ. Thank you guys. Bye. Take care.